Ironically, Newcastle's free-scoring start had been achieved without the man who proved himself one of the deadliest finishers ever to wear that famous number nine shirt. Mickey Quinn finally got his call up to face his old club Portsmouth, managed by Jim Smith, the man who'd brought him to Tyneside. It proved a spectacular entrance. Scott coming forward, Lee Clark. Mickey Quinn, last one two for Clark. Clark, a good saving tackle there, he'll have to scoot back. Oh, so nearly an own goal there by Kit Simons. Lofton losing out to Lee Clark, who was too quick for him. And Clark's carried on a great run. Kelly is pointing where he wants it. It's come deep for Mickey Quinn. Mickey Quinn scores for Newcastle. Quinn is back. A Mickey Quinn classic and a superb break by Newcastle. Made by the running of Lee Clark, who started the move. Made such a positive run. He whipped in the cross, and that is meat and drink to Mickey Quinn. Quinn. To Clark. Quinn. Oh, so quick again, Mickey Quinn. And Alan Knight must have got a touch. Now Lee Clark skipping through defenders. The touch by Quinn. David Kelly. Beautifully taken by David Kelly. Another classic goal. Beresford showing neat control and balance again. In front of Warren Neal, little touch there. Kelly must be three. Oh, how did he miss that one? Sheedy now. Beresford racing through and support. Sheedy thinking about the shot, but it's come for Beresford first time. And Mickey Quinn. And Mickey Quinn gets his second. Well, that goal disallowed then for offside with Quinn celebrating. Beresford again looking lively. Friends' car is over there. Clark gets away from his man. And Quinn this time. And it's three. It's a second for Mickey Quinn. And no one will take that one away from him. And there's a goal there by Whittingham. Almost out of nothing. Mickey Quinn takes the applause he richly deserves. Back in the team today and celebrating with two goals against his old club. But I have been in the blocks ready to, to get out and go. And it's been frustrating uh, because after the start of the season with this team I finished last season. I kept us up and uh, to be fair to the lads, they've done brilliant. We haven't lost. So you've just got to wait and wait and wait and bide your time. And then when you're on the team, take your opportunity. You certainly took your opportunity with those goals. The first one, you seem to be hanging there in the air, ready for it, thinking that one's mine. Well, as soon as it left my head, I knew it was a goal. Uh, I remember Clarkie just crossing it in. Um, there was only one place it was going when it came in, and that was the back of the net. Looked as though you were going to get more goals. You had one chalked out for offside. You were nearly back uh, celebrating and kicking off. I couldn't the believe game. it. Well, the referee actually turned to give the goal. And then I was celebrating to the crowd, and then I turned back, and uh, I couldn't believe he did. I think it was offside. You did get the second goal, though, and there was no mistake about that one. Yeah, Franz did, did ever so well. Kept a low cross that flew across the face of the goal, and I came in at the back post and uh, just lifted it over the keep, keep it into the roof of the net. Now, Kevin must be so pleased with six out of six at the start of the season, but he's a man with a problem. I mean, what is he going to do about his selections now? It's a nice problem to have, isn't it? I mean, we've got a squad of about 20, 22 first team players. You've got to be patient and bide your time, and if injuries do happen, come in, take your chance, and then uh, it's up to someone else to get the shirt off your back. That sixth win in a row took Newcastle to the top of the first division, a position they were only to relinquish for just 21 hours in the rest of the season.